This is the Korg M1. It's one of the iconic keyboards of the 1980s, and you'll understand why when I just do this. It's kicking off a whole series of other musical textures just with the holding down of one note. So if you do this... ..you get an enormous texture, enough for a film score. There is actually a programme on here called Film Score. And that's my problem with it. Because instead of being a tool towards creativity, it can become a replacement for it. Electronics works at its best when a composer takes it and creates something completely new that we haven't heard before. And that's just what Vangelis did with his next score. It was for a film set nearly a hundred years after Chariots of Fire and in a very different world. Los Angeles, 2019. In Blade Runner, Vangelis' soundtrack reflects and enhances our awe at a future realized in extraordinary, spectacular detail by director Ridley Scott and special effects wizard Doug Trumbull and his team. Vangelis creates not just a music score, but an entire soundscape that heightens the visuals. Here, the very twinkling of the city's lights seems captured in the music. Blade Runner, you had to create a world in our ears that matched a world we'd never seen before on the screen. <laughs> I was knocked out as well when I saw this big, big construction by Doug Trumbull. And uh, of course, uh, it's been done with no computers at the time. And it impressed me, and immediately I did this, this, this theme like I did with Chariots. electronics as orchestral instruments or like orchestral instruments. It's like you've created your own orchestra yeah. using these sounds. The thing is that I, my interest in it was not to create a symphony orchestra, which I, I can, it's very easy, but to go f further than that and do things that the symphony orchestra can't do. And uh, to, open, to open other paths. And I think that, that uh, I succeed to create some things like this.